Fio have unveiled their latest small DAC headphone amplifier. Now, this is the QX13. Uh, this model has been constructed using a carbon fiber body. Uh, now, they say that this body is the same uh, they use for Formula One cars. That's racing cars. Uh, they even say that this new DAC is designed to be as lightweight as possible and durable. That's one uh, of the main selling points, that they want it to be as durable as possible. Uh, you know, they also go on to say that it's extremely, extremely uh, efficient in terms of uh, what it can do for your IEMs or headphones. First of all, it's coming with the new ESS Sabre Pro. Uh, the model we are looking at is the ES9027 Pro DAC chip. Uh, you know, it's a it's a high-end level DAC. It's not a flagship DAC, but it's a very high-end DAC. Uh, you know, it has a fully differential audio architecture design. Uh, you even have eight audio channels that are set up in par in parallel. This is how they've made the internals of this model. They even say that the chip is paired with a low noise ES, uh, ESS 9312 regulators. They even go on to say that uh, Fio is more or less trying to reproduce one of the very best sound that they have made for a lightweight dongle that they are selling to consumers. Uh, they have improved power efficiency and um, you have a reduced clock jitter with this particular model. Now, it supports high res audio of every sort. You know, you get 32, at least PCM files up to 32 bits, 768 kilohertz. You get DSD 512 support. Uh, it's capable of full MQA decoding. Uh, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, in, in terms of, in, in terms of uh, it, the, the internals that you get as not the DAC, uh, you get four integrated uh, in a uh, 1620 chips. Uh, you know, this this particular in a uh, 1620 chips, they are designed to diminish crosstalk significantly for reduced uh, interference between channels. Uh, you even have two low noise op amps inside here. Yeah, you get uh, the 1692 chipsets inside, two op amps. Uh, so you get excellent dynamics, you know, whatever it's playing, uh, any track through it. Uh, and Theo says that uh, they even have this desktop mode, which lets you have extra power that can be drawn from. Uh, a powered USB device like your laptop to increase the power output and performance of this particular model so it can power more demanding headphones quite comfortably. Uh, you know, the, the main selling point is that this QX13 has a carbon fiber body, uh, it has enhanced durability, uh, it has even this two inch color display. It's going to give you access to key information such as your file type, your equalizer settings, or even your desktop mode. Now as for price tag, it is priced at 219 pounds in the UK market. If you want to buy it in the US, it's $219. If you want to buy it in Europe, it's 239 euros. I'm going to drop all the necessary information for you guys down below. So do check it out. Do subscribe to the channel. Do like our content. I'll see you guys very much next time.